Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Wasp figure. I know a lot of you guys are kind of excited about this Wasp figure because the only other one we have is that rather mediocre one from long ago and this is the new look and it's pretty exciting that we have a new Wasp figure. We don't get many decent female figures so we were hoping this is one of them. So let's see if it is. She stands about... About six and a quarter inches tall, which makes her about 15 and a half centimeters, roughly. Uh, I believe, and I didn't get it out to compare, because I can't just pull out figures that easily, too many of them. Uh, I believe it's Storm, with different feet. One of the, like, Spider-Girl feet, maybe? Either way, I believe it's the Storm Torso. Uh, storm Hands, which I think we've also seen before. And then it's slightly modified, obviously, to hold the wings, which can come off. They come off in the package, or they... You get the figure without the wings being connected, and then you connect them. But you can pull them off if you want to. So that's up to you. I'll leave them off for now. Be careful with those. So it's a decent female mold. We'll talk about that a little bit as we go. New head sculpt completely. I think it's a good head sculpt, but I can't quite tell because the paint on her eyes is super wide apart and slightly off-center. It just makes her head look like a really weird shape. So that's odd. I think a new paint job would fix that. But I do like the fact that her hair has a lot of heavy shading in it. I think that light brown on top of the black looks really good. And the lips are painted even though it's kind of sloppy. So it could be better, but it's not horrible. I imagine some people are going to get a better eyed paint job, so it'll look pretty good. And then we have the gold on the torso, the hands, and the trimming on the boots. And it's pretty lousy, unfortunately. Again, this figure's make or, make or break it, whatever. The, Sayings aren't working for me today. Neither are words. Words are hard. Um, the paint job is what would have made or broken this figure. And it's not good. At first glance it looks okay and it's almost there. Like the, the lower torso here. The line works pretty good but we have all of this sloppiness in the middle with the black. And I don't know if it's showing up for you but it looks like somebody went back in with a brush and tried to paint gold back over the gold and it didn't work. It's pretty sloppy. But that's not the bad part. The bad part is up here near the boobages. The paint up here is garbage. Like, not good at all. Like, the worst customizer could have done better than this. With his eyes closed and without a brush. It's just so bad. So sloppy. Not even close. The hands, I guess they're okay. They could definitely be worse. They're not super clean, but it's good enough. Fuzzy around the edges, but it's where it belongs. And then the lining on the shoes is okay. Again, it, it's definitely not horrible. Could be better. But that's it. I mean, it's just a solid black figure with some gold. How hard is it to paint that? I don't know. Apparently, it's pretty hard. As far as articulation goes, the head, we have a hinge and a ball peg. But, of course, it's just like Storm where the head sits way too high up off the neck. Like, it's connected right now, but there's a giant gap. So it does account for a good range of motion, but it looks like a bobblehead because the head's not connected in the right place. So that's, you put her in a flying pose and her head just disconnects from her body. So that's not good at all. Look at that. Look at that. That's so bad. That's, that's disappointing. Shoulders are standard shoulders. We've seen this type of shoulder all kinds of times before. So that's good. No biceps over there, but it comes in the elbow. So that's good. Good range of motion, wrists swivel and hinge, so that's good. Uh, diaphragm joint works pretty well. You can lean her back and you still have the yellow paint in there, so that's good. Doesn't slide side to side too much, but it does rotate. Leans forward a little bit, leans back a little bit. It's okay, it's not the best, but it's not bad. Hips come pretty far forward, that's good. No back really, and eh, about 45 to the side, so it's not horrible, that's okay. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, those all work good work well. Wow, those work good. They work well. Ankle goes all the way back, barely forward. Basically the same thing I say in all of my Marvel Legends reviews. We need to get these ankles fixed. Just open up that little joint area a little bit and we can bring the foot forward. That's all. And then we get our ankle rocker. So, if you can get one with good paint, easily grab this figure. If you can't, then meh, maybe still grab it. Let's talk about the wings. They come disconnected. You can just snap those on like that, and those just peg in. We have a hinge here, and obviously a peg, so once you put it on the figure, you can pose them up, and you can spread these out if you want to, or you can close them up and put them down. Whatever you want to do, you can do it, and it works well. That joint works for flapping. 
whatever you want to do, it works well. I'm happy with that. They're kind of like a translucent, um, almost, it reminds me of Kool-Aid. I don't know why, but like lemon, lemonade, Kool-Aid. I don't know if that's a thing specifically, but I don't know. The, the, something about the color does, but they're cool because they're translucent and yellow and molded well. So very nicely done. I like those a lot. And it's going to be a nice little display piece. So I like the figure other than the horrible paint job on the torso and kind of weird paint job on the head. So I do recommend it. I just don't think... I wish Hasbro would just paint the figures well. That's all they need to do to make these figures so much better. That's it. I don't care if you reuse bodies. Just paint them well. That's all I ask for. And this one fortunately missed the mark so there it is guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting